And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ephemeral Katarina to start the day off today. We played this deck, uh, what was it, about four days ago or so, and it didn't go so well, but, uh, you know, we changed it up quite a bit afterwards. Remember, we had, like, the Undying in here, and we were really focusing on attacking and really just didn't have removal, and that was our problem. And so, <clears throat> you know, we took out the Undying. Um, you know, we don't don't really need that card in here, but we did need some removal. So we got a couple of Grass, a couple of Vengeance, um, you know, some Withering Whales, Vile Feast, that kind of stuff. So we, we do have some interaction to go along with our other stuff. But I really liked this deck. Basically, the, the theory behind this deck is taking advantage of um, Katarina's ability to go back to your hand. Sorry, whenever it strikes. Whenever Katarina strikes, it goes back to your hand, and it doesn't matter if um, Katarina is ephemeral or not. So you can have Oblivious Islander make Katarina cost only two mana, um, and then it comes back to your hand. Or you can have Sturd Spirits give it plus two, plus zero. So you can, have, you can attack for even more with the help of Sturd Spirits. So we're kind of doing that kind of stuff, and then also going with, with Shark Chariot as being our other, um, you know, thing that we can keep on bringing back with different ephemeral attackers. We also have Mark of the Isles to give stuff ephemeral that could grow Katarina or, you know, anything else. Um, you know, giving Cursed Keeper ephemeral is also pretty nice. Whoops. And so then, uh, like, all of our champions are really good in this deck. So obviously the Katarinas, the Callistas are really nice in here too, and then so is Hecarim. Um, so like basically we have two of each of all three of those champions. They're all very good. All right, let's, let's give this, uh, you know, version two for Ephemeral Katarina. Let's give it a try. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Wanted to go over here and load out and what board do we want to use? You know what? Let's just use, I'll use the Clifftop Monastery with the Poro. That sounds pretty good. Okay, those are aluminum. And aluminum does not go in the dishwasher. Cool. Thanks, Swayze. So yeah, good to know. So we'll not put those in there. Yasuo. Okay, we got that combo. And a Hecarim at the top end. Do kind of want some other things to do early on, but Hecarim is pretty powerful. I'll just keep the Hecarim for the top end. It is just really powerful. Hello. Right, I have to make sure to not cast Katarina. I, I did this whenever we were playing this deck the last time. I played Katarina on my opponent's turn after making it ephemeral. Whoops. That is not what you're supposed to do. Control one, control two, control three. Um. Let's do this. What's up, Forks? Just in time. Yeah, Callista is really good now. Just, yeah, Callista's just really solid. Hmm. A lot I could do this turn. Yeah, we really do have a lot we can do this turn. I basically feel that if I well, it was fresh. if I play Callista, I feel like they're gonna have like the the Arachnoid Sentry. There you go, that card, the three mana three two stun. And so I didn't want to just like play Callista. They stun that. And this lets me attack where, yeah, they want to make that block. I have the blade's edge. Ha, never 
never know what kills. And now we got them we got them at 13. <laughs> Both are rendered, GG's. Leveled up Katarina, they were like, alright, never mind. I'm out. Peace. Dude, that is pretty good. Like, Katarina for one mana that makes that also makes a blade blade's edge. Not so bad. Not so bad. One mana cat. Unfortunately, when cat bounces back to your hand, it, the cost reduction is not there anymore. So we don't, you know, it's not, it, you know, it doesn't like the, you can't just keep replaying it for two mana. That would be broken if that cost reduction stayed on there. All right, here's that standalone deck. No, I thought I, thought I hit replace. Oh, well. We are attacking turn six, which is good. Is dark, eh? They don't have standalone, like that the actual card. Darn. Uh, that's really hard to beat when they have standalone. Okay, awesome, Forks. You're building a new PC. You got your parts in. That is awesome. That's really exciting. Yeah, have fun with that. the withering whale to be able to kill it long. <sighs> no a second standalone I mean that's just ideal really well I mean hopefully they don't have deny that'd be very bad for me if they have deny GG's. When you have it all. Yep. That's what we call having it all. Two standalones and the deny. Oh well.
I like this deck that we're playing, though. This is a fun one to play. Interesting hand. Which I think I'm just gonna keep. We'll have the Shark Chariot for turn two while we attack. We can get that in play um, and attack with it. You know, then we can play our House Spider on turn three for some defense. Or Callista, of course, depending on what they do. And their deck definitely wants to go wide with like Brute, Brute Awakening and everything like that. So Withering Will is important. I don't really think they're trading. But I guess I could see them blocking with the 1-1 one, one if they have like their own Withering Will that they were going to set up. Unfortunately, Oblivious Islander is not like a May. Like, if you play it, you have to grant something yeah you, know, you have to do its effects if you play it I want the Islander in play that much. Alright, tacking on in. Six damage in? Question mark? We're kind of in the spot where if they don't kill my Callista, that's good. If they do kill the Callista, that's fine. I mean, like, that'll turn on Rekindler. That was pretty good, though. Wish this was another Withering Wheel. It would kill both of those. Alright, Valfies is nice.
So they'll they'll have eight mana next turn. We know that like their deck is all about the nine drops between Ledros and Karina. Um, even Ruination can't play right now. But they, they can play Ruination next turn. That would be very bad for me. That's also very bad for me. This isn't really looking very good. I'm, you know, I'm pumping, I'm pumping up this thing, giving it ephemeral. Oh, come on. Ugh. That's so gross. So gross. Hey, Matoto. Hello. We've been having a good day. Still at 17. So much. I think my best case scenario is drawing Mark of the Isles, I think. Oh, well, actually, no, because Third Spirit's going to do that. So I guess I can, you know, if they don't have any instant speed removal, which is, it's really unlikely, but if they don't, I guess, I guess we will have lethal. I guess we are attacking for 20 next turn. Well... They have removal, so. That was eight damage on its own. Playing a Lux deck again? Okay. I like the uh, Mage Seeker Thresh deck. That's a Lux deck. That was, I think that was the last one we played. When did we play that? We played that again pretty recently and, and did well with it. The 18th, four days ago? That's my favorite Lux deck right now. I was like, the shark's coming, right? Like, where's the shark? All right. Can we get really lucky? No, no, don't have more removal. Ugh. They didn't have that other withering whale that last turn. Came pretty close.
That second Withering Whale, though, won him this game. Okay, not dead yet. Alright, now dead. We came real close. Alright, so one and two. This game's just really hard. You know, like I, I like our deck, I think it's pretty good, but you know, it doesn't mean that doesn't mean that we're gonna win, you know, like sometimes your opponents just just have all the things they need. Sometimes they don't. Let's just get rid of all the spells and look for new stuff. Hello. Karina control is really hard to beat. Think you're fast? Get him, Callista. Please don't also have Yasuo. Please don't have that curve. Blade Twirler into Sentry into Yasuo. Like the only two drop, the only three drop, the only four drop. Hey, Elder Lynx. Hello. Okay, good. Not Yasuo. I couldn't really beat Yasuo. Nice, thanks, Elder Links. Have you been trying out Legends of Runeterra at all? Yeah. Ah, from, from Paris, bonjour. Bonjour. possible if I play something else that, they, that then they use Intimidating Roar and keep me from attacking this turn? I 
think it's still worth it. Yeah, even though that's a possibility, it's just such a better attack if we play other things. <laughs> yeah. My war host Paris, Texas doesn't have a whole lot going for it. Um... Going aggro. Trying to do a lot of damage. I have never been to Paris, never been to France. It would be absolutely amazing to go, but... I have been to Paris, Texas, though. And yeah, there's not not a lot in Paris, Texas. But I have been there. Definitely a glimpse beyond like one of these spiderlings to draw a card or draw two cards. But I think I'm supposed to just go straight to combat this next turn. Not let them play a Yone or Intimidating Roar or anything like that. And if we're going straight to combat, I probably want the extra 1 1 in here as well. Just want all the attackers. Life and death. I'm happy to have you here, Elder Links. Thanks, thanks for joining the stream and everything. Going down to two here. It's a regular Steel Tempest, not a Yasuo Steel Tempest. All right, well, they're down to two. I guess I'm dead. I don't know. Oh, I'm doing the good game thing. I guess that means I die. We can use our champions. Katarina. Hecarim. Those would be great draws. We just drew some extra cards. We're looking for them. Looking for our champions. At last, I found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. Last game we need the Withering Will, not the Grasp Beyond Dying. This game we need the Grasp Beyond Dying. But I don't, I don't know if we can actually get this damage in here. It's not likely.
I would love to play Shark Chariot. But you just can't play stuff pre-combat against this deck that we're playing against. Yeah, we, we need to draw Katarina, Hecarim, Rekindler. We need, we need one of those cards. Not or, you know, obviously more removal, grasp, vengeance, anything like that. Ugh. Or a glimpse beyond would have been really nice. So many good draws that we've had over the last you know, like four cards that we've got that we've looked for since the grass, but we haven't seen any of them. tried. We're just drawing all of our two drops now in the late game. Start Spirit, Shark Chariot, House Spider. Mark of the Isles. Man, it just seems like the last few days, like every time I'm like really looking forward to playing a deck and like, you know, I have like a deck that I'm like, you know, like really wanting to play, I just do terribly with it on stream and I feel really bad about it. This was the deck that I was playing today earlier, that I was playing earlier today, off stream, and I was three and one off stream with it. And so, you know, I was three and one, and I was just really enjoying it, and I was, so I was really looking forward to this, but. Not a good, you know, not, the deck doesn't look good. It could look a lot better, and I'm sorry. Shen Lux is a tough matchup. This was this was my one loss earlier. Um, this was a tough matchup. Um, definitely need vengeance. Like just like killing large things is a problem. Vile Feast, like Vile Feast, is good at breaking up a barrier. But I'm going to keep the Vengeance to kill, like, a Lux or something, or a Shen. But then look for more... Basically look for more threats. That's why I'm getting rid of the Vile Feast. We haven't been doing very good drawing our champions. Where's our, where, where are the champions? Where are they at? There we go. There's one. It's kind of like this is a little awkward because you know, like we want to glimpse beyond that thing, but now it's just gone. Hey, WQ. Don't have six mana yet, it's good. Mm. 
got punished Never. for not playing Callista right away. Thought they would likely be playing some playing another card. All right, so the problem here, this this is this is how I lost the last time. Like whenever I played against this deck earlier, this is how I lost. It was like a situation like this, like where they have Radiant Guardian, and they want me to like attack, kill stuff, and then they just play Radiant Guardian, and then I I couldn't beat that Life Linker. I do have the Vengeance, but the problem is if they have, um. Weird. I was gonna say the problem would be if they had like a you know a deny for next turn also. I mean I have like this blade's edge that's super obvious. They just respond here. It's just a that was weird. A blade's edge was about to get no value. I fight for the fallen. Yep, there's the raiding guardian. Please don't have deny. Well, the good news is they can't deny. dead shark this game, right? Don't I? No, I don't have a dead shark this game. That was last game. I wish we had I wish I had one more mana, I wish I could mark the Isles and file feast. Alright, so if I attack with everything, they have to block my two four powers. And they go down to one. Um, so then we're trading. Oh, alright. Okay, so we still finished two and three, respectable. Definitely respectable. Um, deck seems like it needs like a little bit more card advantage or another like one other you know like sticky threat. Like I feel, <clears throat> I feel like the three Mark of the Isles, three Transfusion. That like those six cards can probably go down to five. Like I could take out one of. One of one of those. That was kind of what the Undying did before. That was like a sticky threat. It was difficult to deal with. I wish Possession could take Champions. 
I say this could be a decent possession deck with Glimpse Beyond and with Stirred Spirits. Maybe an Atrocity. Maybe just like one Atrocity to, to help finish games out instead of a, a Mark or a Transfusion. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll keep working on it. Um, I like where the deck's at, though. Um, you know, if you count the three one that I had off, off stream, that'd be five and four, you know, so a little bit over 500. You like a Whirling Death? That is true. I haven't really thought about the Noxus removal too much. Maybe... Maybe Culling Strike is better than Grasp the Undying. That as you know, just you know, like the three life isn't usually that important, but just some you know, just cost you know, cost three instead of cost five. Maybe use like a calling strike or two. Um, maybe a might or a whirling death. I'll have to kind of consider those things. I could see sprinkling just a tiny amount of those kind of Noxus cards. Um, Whirling Death, Calling Strike, Might, um, most notably probably over Transfusion. I'm not sure. The thing is, like, Callista, Katarina, Hecarim, those are all awesome. I really wish we could just play three Callista, three Katarina, three Hecarim. Really wish we could have three of all of them, but, you know, with the limit to six champions, we can't. But those are, like, the, you know, I just need, like, enough, you know, I just, the games that we draw the, the our champions, our, our deck looks a lot better than the games that we don't draw our champions. Um... But anyway, there we go. There's Ephemeral, Katarina... <laughs> Um, Culling's too easy to counter without Frostbite. Okay. Because the buffs are super common. Okay. I can definitely see that. I could definitely... I can, uh... I could be convinced by that. It seemed like I needed another... Like, one... One... Maybe two more units and one or two less spells. But this version's definitely better than, than our first attempt at the deck. Yeah, I definitely liked this more. Vengeance was really good um, for us. And then, yeah, having Grass, Withering Whale, Vengeance, like that kind of, you know, Vile Feast. Like, just having all these kind of cards were definitely very good. You'd cut Grass the Undying for Whirling Death. I, I would think I'd rather... Uh... I don't know. Because you have to kill you have to be able to kill some some champions outside of combat. Grass doesn't do that. Or sorry. Sorry. Whirling Death doesn't do that. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Whirling Death doesn't do that. Last time we had just a bunch of Undyings and Chronicler of Ruins, and that's that's where we got like Grass, Withering Whale, Vengeance instead of those things, and I and I liked those more. Noxion Guillotine isn't very reliable without any kind of damage spells. We would have like the Blades Edge from Katarina, but besides that. You know, again, we would be relying on our our opponent putting their units into combat before our Noxion Guillotine would be turned on, and that's just not reliable enough. Um, but, but yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff to like here with this deck. I, I like this. Um, Take one MOTL. Uh, what's MOTL? Mark of the okay, one Mark of the Isles, and one Transfusion, and put in two Culling Strikes. So one like the Mark of the Isles 
remember that is kind of a combo with our deck of turning something small, you know, turning something into being ephemeral to get back Shark Chariot. Like it can do that kind of stuff. Of like it, this is a this is an enabler for our Shark Chariot. Whether it's on like a one one from the House Spider, whether it's on a Cursed Keeper, or whether it's on like a Katarina. Being able to make Katarina ephemeral is pretty awesome. It's possible that I should just get rid of Callista. Honestly, like when we had the Callistas those games, Callista didn't really level up and stuff. It's possible that we should just get rid of Callista and just play Katarina Hecarim. That could be the thing. I did want Katarina a whole lot. I think Katarina is probably more valuable than Callista. Maybe one Callista over the third Hecarim, but probably want the third Katarina instead of the second Callista. I think Katarina is kind of what our... Katarina is really what our deck's built around. Yeah, I like I like that. I think I think we want definitely want the third Katarina. And then so that's why I'm going to try that for next like you know I'm going to keep playing this off stream. This is this is a deck that I you know I like playing and everything and I'm going to try this some more. Um yeah, Clista's yeah. Clista's kind of hard to level up and that's not really what our deck's about, anyway. Um, I want to play one Culling Strike, one Grasp. I just want a, a cheaper option there. And then... Maybe it's Skitterer. I want, like, another... Like, three drop. Basically, just another unit. I want to take out a transfusion and I want I want another ally. Something that costs three or four mana. And I don't know I don't know if it's Frenzied Skitter. I don't know if it's Chronicler of Ruin. It's probably one of those two is things that cost cost three or four mana. So maybe Chronicler of Ruin? I think we need one more one more unit, one less spell. Hey new bloco. Um we just play this iron harbinger. You know, two four is kind of cool. Or an arachnoid sentry. Get the stun on. I don't know. Um, let's pick something real quick. We'll play one, the undying. We'll just have one in there. There we go. That's our sticky threat. We'll have one of those in there. Okay. I like it. That works with a lot of our cards in our deck also. We'll play one of those. All right, but anyway, there we go. There's Ephemeral Katarina. Um, I, <clears throat> no, I'll keep it with the two Hecarums and the one Callista. I like, I like that. I just don't want to have like you know, hands of like withering whales, Hecarim. You know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if I like with how like this deck's supposed to be pretty aggressive. I don't know if I want three, six drops and four, seven drops. Um, and you know, with like these fives and stuff like that, like that's pretty heavy. Not sure if we want all that. Um, it could be, it could just be maybe instead of, um, the undying, it, it could be brood awakening. You know, I was thinking of things that cost three or four, but maybe it's just supposed to be a Brood Awakening. Just get us some Spiderlings out there. I don't know. I'll try the Undying. I'll, I'll uh, report back, though. Uh, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, feel free to leave a comment. You know, like, we're, we're kind of discussing here of, like, 
what to do with some of these slots like let, let me know um what you think and and give the deck a try also you know maybe try this uh updated version let me know what you think of the culling strike uh going to three katarina um you know one undying or the transfusion you know that kind of stuff but thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you for the next one